Hello everybody, back again. Just thought I'd, I've received these today and I thought I'd share them with you. A little bit of um, AliExpress haul plus I'll show you how I get my threads. Okay, let's have a look at this first. This one, the blue spill here, which is fantastic. Uh, let me see where that was from. Is from a summer lace thread it's called summer lace thread store and it's got 500g on it you can see that there i love these for my monochrome ones and let's have a look if we can separate the thread it feels a really good thread let's have a look just that's a tip as well if you just tap it at the end there I think I saw this from Stitcherista. We've got one, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five. Unless I've miscounted. But that looks a really good thread like that. You can use it whole like that for embroidery or split it into twos, as I would do. So we've got that blue thread there, and the price of that was from the high life that's it from the high life store it was 12.96 plus shipping which was 15.24 altogether then we've got pink thread which also was from I can't remember the star. We'll look into it for you. That one, which is quite a bit of difference, but I think that's a single thread. That is a single thread. So if you wanted to use that two threads, or for all those ladies that do one thread, one over one, that's a good one. Uh, and what I'm trying to do is to find them in bulk like this for the big uh, monochrome ones that I do. That I received these little spoons I just thought I'd show you them I thought they were so cute these spoons you know like for your teaspoon for your sugar for your hot chocolate any drinks that you have let's get them all out so we can see them they're gorgeous they're all different they're like little flowers that one's like a sunflower can you see that? Then we've got that's like a rose. That one's almost like a pansy buttercup. They're lovely little spoons and so on, and then it repeats. But they're great for your coffee, tea, things like that. Let's show those to you. Then I got a cookery set. So I have opened it because I wanted to know what they were like. So let's have a look what they're like. And it is quite a heavy bag. It says they're gold, but stainless steel. They're really heavy. Oops. Some coming out. Oh, they are heavy. So they're all wrapped separate, which is good. And that's really quite sharp. Look at that. Can you see the design on that? Aren't they just lovely? Let's have a look at the other ones. So I should have six knives. And it's wrapped this way. Let's put that there for now. So they're all like wrapped in a roll, which is also a pretty good packaging. So that jiffy wrap for wrapping something. Yeah. Oh, they're really heavy these. Which is always a good sign. That they're good quality. I just wanted to try some that are a little bit different. Here we are. See the design of that. Oh, these are nice. 
Look at those beautiful teaspoons. That is a lovely size. Can you see the design on it? I'll turn it that way. And lovely they are. Nice weight in a nice size. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six of those. Now we've got the forks. Let's have a look at the forks. I'll just take one out of each and it's not too long for you. Oh, they are very nice quality. They are lovely. I think they're lovely for the price. Can you see the fretwork there? They're very nice. That's the fork. Five, six. And now we've got spoons. Let's have a look at the dessert spoon. I feel a nice weight to them. I like things on it like this for getting out for special occasions, but yeah, I'm going to use these straight away. So they're the spoons. So they're lovely. And where did I get those? I got those on AliExpress and I got them from, here we are, let's have a look. Now I might have to spell this out for you because I'm not good at pronouncing. Uh, a 24 piece gold diner wear set, stainless steel. They do have them in silver and let's have a look. This is for all the Wai Jing new official star but I'll pr pronounce it here. It's Y I J I no that will be an L. Y I J L but not a capital L just like a stick. Capital A capital N D new. All one word that is official star and it was 20 23 pound no 24.91 for the full set of 24 shipping was 11 pound 81 and tax was 7 pounds 28 came to 43.70 yep yeah. right let's have a look let's move these over and see what else i'm going to show you For all your cross stitches, I have had one set of these people before, and I just thought I've just opened the top there because I thought I'll show you getting them out. There is a full set here of 447 colours, and what's great about these is when I'm packing them up, see these colours here. This is how they come, like that. There's one, two, three, four layers in each packet, like that. And then we've got the numbers, three threes. And what I like about these, when I put them on the bobbins, every single one is in order of the actual DMC. But this is not DMC, this is CXC thread. But equivalent to in their colour shadings and as again there's let me see one two three four five six in this one layers and these ones are the oranges and the teal colour look at those and I like CXC thread I think it's quite good it, it is a little bit like silk when you're sewing with it because silk if you have too long a length it can drag through your cloth and get a bit rough and fluffy this is also the same but if you have a perfect length then it's no problem at all and like i said all the numbers are in how they've gotten in these bags like this i don't know they're all in order all in perfect order so we've done those and those those are fantastic uh, let me just recheck that that's correct. Just 
stainless steel 24 piece. Yeah. Pink thread. Yeah. Like I said, the blue thread is really good from the High Life Star. It's just a matter of shopping around that. Right? Let's open this for. Um, because ever. I'm going to show you the next. Um, Cross Stitch magazine. I'll use one of these knives, shall I? Oh, look at that. Looks really well. I love the Cross Stitch magazine. Um, this one. It's the, oh, it's so cute that summer sampler stitch along, and it's also got some beads in there in the back. But when you're doing these, when you get them from the magazine, you think to yourself, oh, I've got that there, and I'll put that away, and it's a nice little pattern. Don't forget the actual chart which is in the book. So, what I do is I find the chart, cut it up, and fold it small enough to fit in that. So that when I put them in a drawer or whatever, there's patterns in with it. I hope that helps. So this is issue 399, August 2023. I won't be able to show you the charts, but maybe I can show you things that's going on here. So we have things like that. Let's see the other patterns. So I'm doing a stitch along, but I've only started on the first house of these magazines. And it's a house stitch along. The houses are only really tiny. They're only about that big. It's about a couple of inch either way. Excuse me, just helps getting through the magazine. Right, let's have a look. Oh, that's one of the houses to stitch in there. And this one is, what's it say on it? That says Hersham. H-E-Y-S-H-A-M. That's in the UK. So it's all different little houses of what's typical of that area. Area. Sorry. So I'm doing that, so I need to take that out later. Let's see what else in this. That's a summer sampler. Sunshine and flowers. Everything is fine when there is sunshine. That's another pattern. at the side of me like you use for stamps. Have to get one. Bit of a sponge that's wet. You can use your fingers then for the magazines. That's what I do. Not my finger on the end. That's a nice one, isn't it? Look at that one. Mind you the seaside. Let me see that one. Let me show you that. Yeah, it might be better there. That one, that's nice. You can do that on a round too. We've got this magazine is great. It tells you all about the different things, resources. Oh look, we've got a lovely giraffe. If anybody likes giraffe. magazine you always get an alphabet each month so this one I think it's a monster cartoon monster alphabet so I can show you a bit from there you see them they look fun to do for any kiddies rooms or anything I'm naming uh, let's have a look spread your wings and fly that's nice with the butterflies Any of these patterns in here you can buy as a pack on willowfabrics.co.uk and this one's gorgeous isn't it? It's almost like a little teddy for someone little. They've stitched 
a teddy in a little box. It's almost like a sardine tin. Oh, this is beautiful. Look at this. This is the windmill and also a pattern of them. They'll be nice to do. got some little patterns to make scissor holders we've got there's normally quite a lot in the magazine I think there's another stitch along this is the other stitch along now there's one four 16 20 24 28 28 and it's called stitch along landmarks of Great Britain and Ireland and they come like this. Can you see them? Different places of Britain and Ireland. And I'm trying to collect those because I think that'll be nice framed. There's 28 in total. So they'll also be nice. And then in the back we have all about how to do certain stitches. And I know a lot of people don't like doing um, what are they called now? What's it? Stitch knot? What are they called? French knots. But as, if everybody looks up, if you look up, I think this will be really helpful. If you look up the Chinese French knot, it is a lot easier, and I will demonstrate that because you actually you don't have to twist it round your needle. What you do is you bring your fabric up. You twist it so it's a loop, put your needle through the loop and pull it and it lands like a French knot. Try that. If you look for the Chinese French knot, it's fantastic in how easy to do it. And I do mean to show it on my channel. So let's have a look. Right, 17 minutes. I will show you this little pattern that I got as well. I've heard a lot of uh, people saying that the... Um, brand name spring is quite good at the moment and use the knife again just like so. look at that they're really quite sh they're sharper than what you get in your oh they are really quite sharp yeah. right it's gonna spring i got this one from a shop called the army shop so let me show you at the front there army shop so you can see how it's spelt and this brand name is spring and you know what i like about these they, they deliver them in these gorgeous envelopes can you see the envelope it's in and all your things come in with it so let's have a look at what we've got i'll show you the design and it comes printed on paper which is fantastic for me let me show you a bit of the design. So look how clear that is. It's just fantastic. It's on paper, so it's not shiny. And this is the design. It's like a sampler with ABCs on it, and it's got lots of flowers. Can you see that? That's quite pretty, isn't it? So we'll put the pattern over there and let's see what else has come with it. You get your material. This one, by the way, is not stamped. It has actually surged around the edges. That's fantastic, that's what we want. And this is an 11 count, <clears throat> which is going to be a bit big. Sometimes you want your little designs to be a bit bigger, so just do it on a lower count. Not lower count. The higher it goes, the smaller it is. Starting from 9 count, 11 count. I'm not sure if there's a 12, 14, 16, 18, um, 20. 
help me out ladies which one it's after that so we've got some material our pattern these are our threads These look very colourful, so let's have a look. The threads there. And let's see the threads at the other side of that one. Put that one there. These feel like CXC, I think they're a little bit drier, but sometimes that's better. There we are. Oh, what is this we've got? Oh, look what they've sent. Two needles, a needle threader. Let's get them out and show you. I hope you're all doing well. This is frustrating. Oh. I'm coming in really handy, ladies. I normally have something there, by. Let's have a look. So we've got a little needle threader. If you can see the very end of that and if you can it's like a little loop and what you do is people get I got really confused on how to do it so what you do is you get your needle and you thread this little loop through your needle and then with the thread it through and then with this one because it's got loop like that you have to put your cotton through and then pull it back through the needle and it threads it. Now the little steel needle threaders, you put through your needle, then you put your thread on, then you pull the little needle threader back over your needle and it will give you a thread. Because I had to work out how to use them as well. So let's see what needles we've got and what else we have. So we've got like a little water soluble, looks like a little pen refill and what it does is if you've got unmarked say like counted cross stitch and you don't have where to start or anything like that, you can use this pen and mark out every 10 holes which will help you. So then you can work in 10s and if you just want to do it to take the little bit off there and you mark 10 holes and then a little bit of a dot another 10 holes and mark a dot if you do that it will help you keep reference with the chart because the chart will come in like a graph and it will have 10 squares on it and it'll have a color in each sim a symbol and color in each of the little squares and that's called your tent and how to work out your material if you want to know what count a material is, say you bought it from a shop but as a kit and you don't know what size count it is because it doesn't say, place your material down. Let me show you with this one. Right. Place your ruler down on it, across on it, and count 10 holes on the ruler and on the ruler it will indicate if it's an 11 count because there'll be 11 holes per inch so you count it per inch so if it was a 20 count it will have 20 holes per inch so that will help you and also what have we got in here we just let me see there now we have some needles there we are it's actually given us needles on a bit of Ada, which is good. And they're really good needles, they are. It's like silver at the bottom and gold at the top. They're quite good. So I save all these. I'm going to make a needle book. 
that's that. So if there's any questions you want to ask me about the um, cottons that come like this, please just ask. And whatever way, if I'm able to help you, I will. I don't mind at all, just ask me. Because when you actually, if you do bobbinate them or you put them on floss drops, it's fantastic because if you can see it all, if I can show you a little bit of the numbers, they come in order. They come in order according to, has any of you got them DMC, um, you can get floss ones and diamond painting ones as to the colours. And uh, some of the colours are missing in, um, they're not missing as such, it's the way they've done them. So say like you've got 461 and it goes up to uh, 498, you've got a few missing there. So don't automatically think that it's 1, 2, 3, 4 because it doesn't work like that in DMC. I don't know why. If anybody can tell me why, please do. But I just wanted to show you these because I love them and I've been sewing with them, even on the big ones from Heaven and Earth. And they give wonderful cover. They're all six strands and they all work out when you're bobbinating or flossing. Then you just take one out and the next one is in accordance with how they are in the DMC chart. Um, but they're not DMCs, I will stress that. I'm not trying to put something across that isn't. They are CXC threads. But for me, DMC threads are quite dear because I think they're one, one pile's 31 in my local hobby store. And, you know, CXC threads can be 25 pence. So, there you go. Sorry about the... Yeah, you can see them. Right, I know it's a short video, but if there's anything you want to ask me about anything that I've gotten today, please do ask and don't hesitate. Thank you. Bye for now.